Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy. You're here. When you said we were gonna go hunting, I didn't realize you meant I'd have to track you down. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the Embrace, and hunt until you have gathered the parts for Fire Arrows. Fire Arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the Embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the Embrace? Oh... Uh, Odd Grotta might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. <sighs> Wouldn't mind, if she'd say thanks just once. <sighs> Grotta follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. Is something else bothering you? No, I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't- There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also gonna pay Karst a visit. Aloy. That man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. Something's really bothering him. The people think something abandoned him. He's wrong.
the embrace. My whole life, I've never gone beyond this valley. That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days, and I'll know who she was. And why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right. Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. I have looked for your bounty among the rocks and the trees. Hello, Grotta. All oh, mother, since I was cast out, have I not been constant as the river flows? Have I not kept the vows as the stones do? Show me your grace, all oh, mother, and provide for me once more. Good news, Grotta. Once again, all mother has brought you... rabbits. Oh, Mother, your voice cracks like the distant thunder. I hear the songs of grief, All oh, Mother. I would join the call, but I left my prayer beads atop the eastern overlook. I am afraid. Wait at your camp for me, Grata. I'll see what I can do. a bit. Please, a word? I'm injured. 
I need your help. You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. Trail up the rocks is close by. From melted snow. Grata may be devout, but it takes strong arms to reach the overlook the fast way. This looks promising. Aha! Grata's prayer beads. 
I see why she comes up here to pray. It looks out to Mother's Gate. You know, I wonder what bothers me more. That she ignores me, or that with all her talking to all mothers, she's never lonely. Going down fast. There's Grata, all alone with all mother. The only way she knows. Carry your prayer beads, Grata. Now you have what you need. All mother. Each morning I find your tears of joy speckling the leaves. Joy at the beauty of all you have made. See how I cry now with you in gratitude. <sighs> so you'll cry for her, but she won't speak to me. Fine. Guess that makes you the better outcast. Grata, I may not be around much for a while. I'm gonna run in the proving, and I'm not sure what's gonna happen after that. Oh, Mother, I thank you for the kindnesses you share. When the proving comes, in your great wisdom, may you give favor to a brave of generous heart. I think I get what you're saying. Goodbye, Grata. For now. Oh, Mother. Hear me as I... Count off my years of devotion from these beads. Be Alana. Somebody, Sounds please! like she's in trouble. Do what I have to. I'm stuck up here. Somebody, please! I'm surrounded. I need help. I can't get down.
Can I talk to you for a minute? Thank you. I thought those Watchers were gonna tear me apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. That spear must mean a lot to you. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. He didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. I just can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. Your father is worried sick about you. He gets worried if I go ten steps to relieve myself in the bushes. He just... He doesn't want to lose you, Awana. I know. But I do wish he wouldn't yell at me so much. How did you wind up in that tree? I tracked the scrapper to Mother's Cradle. Caught a glimpse of it, too. But then a watcher saw me and called his pack. By oh, Mother, I'm just not a good enough hunter to get that spear back, am I? I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's Heart. Oh, no. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again. Here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. <laughs> Mother's cradle. <laughs> Ends here. I'll bet it crossed the river. Better check the other side. There. Time to get that spear.
full already. It's a well-made weapon. Arana will be happy to have it back. Cast on my doorstep, all mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. Got yourself a trip caster. Practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Will you be around later in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. I guess that concludes our business. All right. later.
I think I'm in the clear. Locking up. Oh, mother be praised. Aloy's back with the spear. First you send Arana back to me, and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. <laughs> me too. I can't believe you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Thank you. It sounds like she was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, 
I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you did. She would have admired that. Thank you, Aloy, for everything. Look out below! as it comes.
thought I found this. Tough, but I'm used to it.
whatever they're hunting out there doesn't sound easy. Need them soon enough. There he is. You have the firearms? I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? I got Odd Grata her rabbits. For which she thanked All Mother, of course. It was All Mother working through you to bring her the rabbits. You always say that, but I was there and I hunted alone. And you always say that, and so make yourself alone. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlawed traitor charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Look, Rost. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. It's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new. Something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah.
Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Tribe's Braves hunt this machine. They did. The kills were faster than theirs. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? See it coming. back. It's 
saw me. Should have brought a cart. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will.
Who are you calling out for? Do you need help? I have nothing against outcasts. Far from it. But I shouldn't talk to you. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't see anyone else around to help. I guess you're right. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be callous. My brother was cast out, but his sentence has ended. He, he should have come home, but he didn't, and... And his camp was covered in blood. You, um... You said your brother's camp was soaked with blood? The Braves went looking for him, and, and that's what they found. All I can think about is what might have happened. Is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Does he need help? I can't stand it not knowing. What are you doing out here all alone? Each day I cut a notch on the wall so I knew Brahm's sentence was over. Then I cut three more. But he still hadn't come back. I begged the matriarchs to send braves to find him, and all they found was a blood-soaked camp. The braves said he must be dead, but I have to know the truth. So I came out looking for him. Why was your brother cast out? Rom was always a little different. A little touched. One of the hunters had a cruel heart and never let him alone. I was gone but an hour, and the hunter said after him like always, but this time, Brahm struck back with a rock and split the man's skull. Spirits made him do it, he said. Whispers of the forgotten. It cost him ten years. I never should have left him alone. What do you mean, forgotten? All mother curses blasphemers who won't repent, banishing them from her eternal memory. Those lost spirits are the forgotten. Brom used to say they spoke to him, told him to do things. It was such a burden for him, and, and there was nothing I could do to help. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. If that is how it must be, just find him then, please. Bob's camp. Better clear out those watchers.
like a few drops of blood lead away from the camp. Like more blood leading away from here. Did someone bring the blood to the camp? The trail of blood ends here, but whoever left it must have also left tracks. Lightning struggle. I wonder if the blood from the camp came from this boar. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? What are those scrappers picking at?
sure. Whoever I'm following made short work of it. If it's Brom, he definitely knows how to handle a spear. Someone loaded these supplies. Brom was an outcast for a long time. Why take food and gear now? from the cache. Why would they take these and just throw them away? I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Brom. No. Leave me alone! Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? I'm not shouting. I know you're a good listener. So come listen to me, just as you would the others. They... they say not to listen. <laughs> but... Alara always said, never ignore a speaker. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll hear you out. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the Forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things. Hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I... I'll kill myself before I let that happen. 
Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Always with me. They take care of me. Keep me company. Help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom. You're alive. Oh, Mother, be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No, 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 no. Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Brom. He fears these spirits that he hears will turn him against you. Unless your voice can quiet them? Yes, just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once, and it was provoked. I... I don't want to hurt you. But the Forgotten, their... their whispers, they... they fill my head with screams. Brahm isn't ready to return to the Nora. But I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay. A cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brom. I'll help you. Thank you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in all Mother's eternal memory. And may the Forgotten leave you be.
So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. I've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it. As I was, back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? 
But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. There. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. You know. Hi, Aloy. Goddess protect. Jog, get down from there. Bat it up, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? I won't let the car get faithless. Get down what are you? now. Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. What I want is for you to climb down. What you want is for me to have no fun at all. Fine. Listen Stay carefully. Stay up on the roof now. all night if you want. Yeah, I You'll will. You'll have to tell me. 
to do. Listen carefully so now. She can't see me. But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. Combining these blood the beginning, Karja into our lands. All life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts. All were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the Faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one All Mother provided. A world of metal. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with All Mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible. Monuments to their sins. But they would not serve the Faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other. The Metal Devil. And then, the Faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her, and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down. Forever. As you know, for his lifeless body is up there still, frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The Faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. 